let's take up a question on microscope the smallest object detail that can be resolved with a microscope using light of wavelength 600 nanometer is 3.5 into 10 power minus 5 centimeter find the numerical aperture of objective when used dry and when immersed in an oil of refractive index 1.6 the students you should first of all know what is that smallest detail which can be resolved using a microscope that is nothing but the limit of resolution of the microscope by definition so it is directly given to be the limit of resolution of the microscope which is given by the symbol dx its value is given to be 3.5 into 10 power minus 5 centimeter otherwise 10 power minus 7 meter now the incident light has got a wavelength given by 600 nanometer which is 6 into 10 power minus 7 meter and we are supposed to find out the numerical aperture we need to know what is numerical aperture which is n sine theta so we'll calculate what is numerical aperture before that uh, uh, let me take up the expression for limit of resolution of microscope limit of resolution of a microscope is given by dx is equal to lambda divided by 2 n sine theta here the quantity n sine theta is nothing but the numerical aperture it is a measure of the amount of light that enters the objective of the microscope so there are two cases mentioned in this problem in the first case the microscope is used dry and in the second case it is immersed in an oil of refractive index 1.6 now let me take up the first case when used dry which means there is no other medium apart from air between the object and the objective when there is only air between the object and objective we can take the refractive index of air to be one students are familiar with the symbols that I have used in this expression of limit of resolution dx is limit of resolution lambda is the wavelength of light used and n is the refractive index of the medium between object and objective and in this case the value of n is 1 therefore you can always write the expression for dx once again as lambda divided by 2 sine theta from this I can calculate what is sine theta which is the numerical aperture for the case of dry now I'll write it as sine theta is equal to lambda divided by 2 times dx let me substitute those values and this gives me numerical aperture okay therefore numerical aperture for the first case or the dry case is given by lambda is 6 into 10 power minus 7 divided by 2 into dx is given to be 3.5 into 10 power minus 7 10 power minus 7 gets cancelled I'm left with uh, 6 divided by 7 or numerical aperture is nothing but 0 0.86 for the first case now let us uh, go to the second case in the second case it is immersed in oil in oil of refractive index n is equal to 1.6 I should take the numerical aperture as n sin theta remember this is simply sin theta in case of only air but in presence of some other medium it is n into sin theta so n is given to be 1.6 into sin theta's value is already found out as 0 0.86 that is the value of sin theta or the numerical aperture in the first case both are same therefore numerical aperture in the second case when immersed in air is therefore the numerical aperture in the second case when immersed in oil is given by 1.6 into 0 0.86 it is nothing but 1.376 remember numerical aperture doesn't carry any unit it's just a number because it is the product of n and sine theta that is refractive index and sine theta now let's take up one more question on telescope dear students Calculate the separation of two points on moon that can be resolved using 600 centimeter telescope given 
the distance of the moon from the earth is 3.8 into 10 power 10 centimeter the wavelength most sensitive to i is 5.5 into 10 power minus 5 centimeter now let's write down the data given first here you have to consider a telescope whose diameter is 600 centimeter so let me write it as diameter 600 centimeter is nothing but 6 meter then the distance of moon from earth let me represent it by a symbol capital D which is 3.8 into 10 power 10 centimeter when I convert it into meter it is 10 power 8 meter the wavelength most sensitive to I that is lambda is equal to 5.5 into 10 power minus 5 centimeter otherwise when expressed in meter it will be 5.5 into 10 power minus 7 meter and what are we supposed to find out is the separation between the two points on moon let me denote it by a symbol x that's what we are supposed to find out before I solve this problem let me take the help of a diagram for this if this is the objective of the telescope whose diameter is given to be small d and you are looking at a position you are looking at a place or let's say moon here there are two points which you want to concentrate these are those two points which has to be seen separately let me say that the separation between them is x and the condition is you have to see those two points clearly separately or in other words the images of these two objects should not overlap on each other so you have to see them clearly this is the case of just resolved right now these two points on the surface of the moon they send out light which reach the observer's eye or the telescope's objective and they subtend an angle at the objective so this is that angle let me call it as theta theta is the angle subtended at the objective let the separation between earth and moon be capital D that is the distance between these two points and the objective of the telescope that is capital D now you can directly find out what is the angle subtended at the objective which is given by theta is equal to x divided by d and in order to resolve those two point objects there has to be a minimum angle subtended at the objective which is called as the limit of resolution of the objective of the telescope it is by definition given by d theta is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by d which is the diameter of the objective so d theta is the limit of resolution let me call it as equation number two and in order to see those two points on the moon surface separately the angle subtended at the objective should be at least equal to the limit of resolution so the condition says that one should be equal to two or in other words the theta should be equal to d theta so further i can substitute the values of theta and d theta from equations one and two therefore i get x divided by d is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by d now students should consider this as a very very important expression since this is a frequently asked questions in many competitive examinations here there are four parameters x capital d small d and lambda and in examination you can expect any three of these four data to be given whereas you are supposed to find out the fourth one and look at the data column you are given with small d capital d and lambda you're supposed to find out the value of x so you can write the expression for x as 1.22 lambda into d divided by d so in competitive exams you can make use of this relation x divided by d is equal to 1.22 lambda divided by d directly this solution will help you to solve questions on telescope as well as human eye they are similar kind of problems okay now substituting the values 1.22 into lambda is 5.5 into 10 power minus 7 into capital D is 3.8 into 10 power 8 divided by 
small d is just 6 on simplification your x turns out to be 42.5 meter so that is the distance between those two points on the surface of moon which can be seen separately or just resolved now here is one more question on width of central maximum monochromatic light of wavelength 4500 angstrom is used to obtain diffraction pattern using a slit of width 0.2 millimeter the screen is at a distance of 1.2 meter from the slit. Find the percentage change in the width of the central maximum when the slit width is increased to 0.3 millimeter and the distance of the screen is reduced to 1 meter. Now width of central maximum is given by the expression. Let me write down the width expression first. Width of central maximum. is w is equal to 2 lambda into d divided by d this is the expression for width of central maximum or in other words it is the distance between the two first minima on either sides of the central maximum now here there are two cases from first case to second case there are two changes made one in the distance of the screen and the second change is with the slit width here the distance of the screen is reduced that is capital D is decreased and small d is increased so both of these two should result in decrease of the width of the central maximum or in other words I can find out W1 which is 2 lambda into D1 divided by D1 and in the second case w2 is equal to 2 lambda into d2 divided by d2 your wavelength of light remains constant and the both the distances capital D and small d are subjected to change here so let me write down the wavelength of light as 4500 angstrom which can be written as 4.5 into 10 power minus 7 meter and uh, distance of the screen in the first case is 1.2 meter where the slit width is uh, 0.2 millimeter or 2 into 10 power minus 4 meter the second case the distance of the screen is reduced to 1 meter and the slit width is increased to 0.3 millimeter or 3 into 10 power minus 4 meter now let me straight away substitute the values of uh, the corresponding data in the expressions of W1 and W2 it is 2 into 4.5 into 10 power minus 7 into distance of the screen is 1.2 meter divided by the distance or that is the slit width is uh, 2 into 10 power minus 4 in the first case let me write it as D1 here and D2 here after simplification this 2 gets cancelled and I'm left with 4.5 into 1.2 in the numerator which is nothing but 5.4 into 10 power minus 3 so W1 is 5.4 millimeter that is the width in the first case whereas in the second case 2 into wavelength is 4.5 into 10 power minus 7 into screen distance is reduced to 1 meter divided by the slit width is increased to 3 into 10 power minus 4 and this is 9 in the numerator divided by 3 gives me 3 into 10 power minus 3 in meter so that is W2 is 3 millimeter now there is a decrement you can see from W1 to W2 the width of the central maximum has reduced and we are supposed to find out what is the extent of that reduction in percentage so percentage change is always given by let me write it as percentage change in w is given by change in w that is change in the width divided by original or initial w into 100 that is the formula for the percentage change so change is W1 minus W2 since W2 is greater divided by original is W1 into 100. So this turns out to be 5.4 minus 3 in millimeter 
that is into 10 power minus 3 divided by W1 is 5.4 millimeter into 100. So, milli gets cancelled. So, this is uh, 2.4 in numerator, 2.4 divided by 5.4 into 100. So, this is similar to uh, 4 divided by 9 into 100. So, that is around 44.44 percentage and this is the percentage change and is it an increase or decrease in the width of the central maximum obviously this is decrease in the width of the central maximum so the central maximum has reduced by an amount 44.44 percentage now here is a question on uh, limit of resolution and resolving power of a microscope in an oil immersion microscope oil of refractive index 1.414 is used the wavelength of light used is 4850 angstrom and semi vertical angle is uh, 45 degree calculate the limit of resolution and resolving power so here almost all the data which are required to find out the limit of resolution and resolving power are given directly and we'll calculate using the appropriate formula that's the problem uh, the data are like this the refractive index of the medium between the object and objective is nothing but an oil whose refractive index is given put to be 1.414 and as soon as you see that number you can directly write it as uh, root 2 so the wavelength of incident light lambda is 4850 angstrom and the semi vertical angle theta is uh, 45 degree calculate the limit of resolution that is LR is question mark you can also call it as some DX and resolving power which is the reciprocal of limit of resolution has to be found out as well now I'll directly go to the limit of resolution of a microscope for a microscope limit of resolution is given by LR is equal to or DX is equal to lambda divided by 2N sine theta or 2N sine beta if beta is your semi vertical angle. So the substitution goes like this in lambda this is 4850 into 10 power minus 10 divided by 2 into N is root 2 into sine 45. So sine 45 is 1 by root 2 which gets cancelled with this root 2. So I am left with 4850 divided by 2 which is nothing but 2425 into 10 power minus 10. So this can also be written as dx is equal to 0 0.2425 into 10 power minus 6 that is in micrometer. So that is the limit of resolution of the given microscope which means uh, that is the shortest distance up to which you can resolve two closely lying point objects using uh, the microscope and now let's go to the resolving power of the microscope resolving power of the microscope is given by the reciprocal of the limit of resolution resolving power is the reciprocal of limit of resolution Therefore, you need not write once again the formula as uh, RP is equal to 2N sin theta divided by lambda. Anyhow, you have simplified lambda by 2N sin theta. It's enough if you only just uh, find out the reciprocal of the final answer obtained in case of limit of resolution, which is 0 0.2425 micrometer. So, resolving power is 10 power 6 divided by 0 0.2425 so on simplification this turns out to be 4.123 into 10 power 6 and you need not write any unit for resolving power since it is the ability of the microscope to resolve to closely lying point objects so it is 4.123 into 10 power 6 without any units it's just a number